the earliest Christ Christians, uh, this is from an encyclopedia, not from me. The earliest Christians were referred to by Romans as atheists. They did not believe in God. Why? They were atheists. Why? Is because they did not believe in the Roman gods. And since in Rome, the Romans understood thoroughly that their gods, the many different gods of the ancient Roman Empire, was absolutely, definitively, without a doubt, absolute gods. And if you did not accept the Roman gods as an absolute truth, then you were obviously, in, in, um, in point of fact, an atheist because you do not believe in Rome's gods. And so today, when somebody makes a statement that I am an atheist, when my whole life I have said over and over again, I have the highest respect for the presence in the universe of what men have called God. But you need to define your terms. When I define God, I mean some sort of an unseen absolutely profoundly wise and intriguingly simple, powerful presence around us. It kind of overshadows, I like that term, it overshadows our life. It doesn't, it doesn't slap you around, it doesn't make you do things, but it's as if something is watching you all your life where you're going, what you're doing, and watching what you're catering yourself to, and it is some kind of, an, a, of a spiritual presence that you feel that the universe is, is, is being overseen by some kind of a higher uh, power, some sort of a higher, and why? Because there were too many uh, things which happened which imply an intelligent, uh, stuff going on all around you that you're not aware of. I mean, there's all kinds of experiences people have today in their life. They keep seeing certain numbers. Some people see certain numbers keep coming up in their life. Some people will seem to, uh, to, to have premonitions of the future and they see things which are going to happen. There are people who are psychics who can read your mind. There are all kinds of strange phenomena which we live with every day and people experience every day, which has no uh, explanation whatsoever. And, of course, the, the Marxist, Leninist, communist people of America who couldn't care less about God or anything spiritual at all, they say the whole thing is all a bunch of bull and it has nothing to do with anything on the earth. Well, I say no, I beg to differ. There, is too many, there are too many things going on in this earth and in the lives of every person on the earth. And everybody I meet tells me, boy, I had the strange experience when somebody came into my life and did this or that, and I saw this or that, and, and, and I had these uh, strange uh, premonitions. So I know that there's just too much going on with the human family that defies imagination. So I, like all other men who, who care, I have to assume that there is some kind of an overshadowing intelligence watching us. And it gives to each one according to his deed. You do things good for people, people will come back and do good things for you. If you go out and hurt other people, other people will come in and hurt you. So it's like a laws in the universe. What goes around comes around. And why is that in everybody's life? Does somebody keep track of every single human? Yes. Somehow or another, there is a continual monitoring of human life on the earth, and everybody gets what's coming to them eventually. So there's too many things that I know and I've seen with my own eyes that tells me uh, there's a, a classic example, and let me give you a, uh, an example of what I'm talking about when I say something is overshadowing us. Listen to what I'm going to tell you. You may have heard this before, but if you haven't, listen closely. It has to do uh, a situation with Abraham Lincoln 
and John Kennedy. Have you ever heard the connection between Abraham Lincoln and John Kennedy, the president? Uh, yeah, actually, I have because uh, I've spent a okay, lot of time. Okay, well, let on me Kennedy, let me yeah. read this. Let me read this to the people who haven't. If you've never heard this, then listen closely. Abraham Lincoln was elected to Congress in 1846. John Kennedy was elected to Congress 1946. Abraham Lincoln was elected president in 1860. John F. Kennedy was elected president 1960. The names Lincoln and Kennedy each contain seven letters. Both presidents were particularly concerned with civil rights. Both wives of both presidents lost children while living in the White House. Both presidents were shot on a Friday. Both presidents were shot in the head. President Lincoln's secretary was named Miss Kennedy. Kennedy's secretary was named Miss Lincoln. Both were assassinated by Southerners. Both were succeeded by Southerners. Both successors to both presidents were both named Johnson. Andrew Johnson, who succeeded Lincoln, was born in 18. 1908. Lyndon Johnson, who succeeded Kennedy, was born in 1908. John Wilkes Booth, who assassinated Lincoln, was born in 1839. Lee Harvey Oswald, three names, Lee Harvey Oswald, who was said to have committed uh, assassinated Kennedy, was born in 1939, exactly 100 years apart. Both assassins were known by their three names. Both names are comprised of 15 letters. Lincoln was shot at a theater called Ford. Kennedy was shot in a car made by Ford called Lincoln. Uh, both ran for the both uh, Booth John Wilkes Booth ran from a theater and was caught in a warehouse. Oswell ran from a warehouse and was caught in a theater. Both Oswell and Booth were assassinated before they could go to trial. All of these coincidences are not coincidences. This all seems to be telling you a story that things are happening all around you and they're mysterious. Why these dates? Why these connections behind the scenes? So the world is filled with strange things. Like I said, the book, uh, the complete works of Charles Fort give you a whole book full of things which have never been figured out why they happen. So I'm just saying that the world is being overshadowed by something that mankind calls God. But you have no idea what that word means. You have no real idea about what you're talking about. So you need to define your terms and wake up and get and, and train yourself to be intellectually honest. And then you will all, always see how much you don't know, how much you don't understand. And then you will begin to ask questions, and that's what the human brain was designed to do, is wake up, grow up, become adult, and ask questions and begin to train your mind to be intellectually honest and look at the facts and, uh, and look up the facts. Like Steve Allen used to say, there are two kinds of facts, the kind you look up and the kind you make up. 